Welcome to hour number two of the Stephen A. Smith Show here with you for the next hour over the airwaves of ESPN Radio. The number to call up as always is 888-729-3776. That's 888-SAY-ESPN. Lots of stuff to continue to get into today, no question about that. Um, and I will definitely continue to do so. You're listening live to the Stephen A. Smith Show, which is being brought to you by Penzol Synthetics, taking synthetic motor oil performance to a whole new level. Make the switch to Penzol Synthetics today. Lots of stuff to get into. Um, and I'll get back into Mike Tomlin and this this ridiculousness of, of minority owners for the Pittsburgh Steelers wanting him out is so insulting. It's just so insulting. It's, it, it really rakes my damn nerves. I'm not going to lie to you, to say the least. It really, really gets to me. No doubt about that. Uh, we'll, get into, we'll get into that, of course. Um, we'll also get into, um, we'll revisit the whole image issue, supposedly, that the NBA has, which is bogus to me. There's no image issue, as it pretends, as it, as it, as it uh, relates to the uh, NBA. It's an incredible global iconic brand. You got that going on. You got a lot of guys that contribute a lot to the community. You got that going on. They don't deserve there being this perception of an image problem because stuff almost went down at the Staples Center the other night and Aaron Aflalo threw a haymaker at a member of the Orlando Magic last night. The pronunciation of his name is what I struggle with, which is why I did not say it. Let me say this. There's no image problem. If there's an image problem with the NBA, if there's an image problem with the NFL, there's an image problem with the NHL. There's an image problem with Major League Baseball. Unless you want to address that, don't come to me with that. Don't come to me with it. I ain't trying to hear it. They fight in the National Hockey League all the time. Y'all ain't saying anything. Dugouts empty and melees take place in Major League Baseball. Nobody says anything. They get to police themselves half the time. And unapologetically look you in the face and tell you, you know what? Hey, we'll handle it ourselves. We police ourselves. They don't want an authority recognized as having dominion over them. And they've been successful in doing so because unlike the other sports, they have a strong players union who negotiate great collective bargaining agreements. Why? Because you got a lot of these players, by and large, who buffer themselves against the influence of owners because they save their money and they can hold out longer. You want to make that argument? I'm all ears. But that's about it. I don't want to hear this stuff about an image problem with the NBA. Not when you have these individuals who are stellar citizens and incredible contributors to their communities. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. 888-SAY-ESPN is the number to call it. That's 888-729-3776. I got to get to the subject. Of um, Mr. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, for those of you who don't know, is this dude who's about six feet 11, came out of Kentucky, won a national title, delivered a national title for the John Calipari at the University of Kentucky as a freshman, came into the draft as a number one overall pick. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an all star. And um, for the second consecutive game, he dropped second consecutive road game. He dropped 40 plus. In case you missed his game against the New York Knicks the other night, he showed up at Madison Square Garden, dropped 48 and 17 on the New York Knicks and Chris Stapp's Porzingis. So much for that theory, that comparison. All you Chris Stapp Porzingis lovers, and I like him, but I told you he wasn't a number one option because I told you he was a little bit too frail, a little bit too thin. And once Carmelo Anthony left, he was going to see a lot of pressure, physical pressure applied to this brother, and he wasn't going to be ready for it. I tried to tell y'all, but y'all didn't want to listen. I said he's damn good, but he's no number one option. He ain't got it in him. You wouldn't listen. Well, Anthony Davis showed up the other night and reminded him of what a number one option is. By the way, after dropping 48 and 17 on the Knicks, Anthony Davis then went to TD Bank Garden in Boston, Massachusetts last night, playing against the number one seeded Boston Celtics with Kyrie Irving and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and Al Horford and all of these boys. And what did Anthony Davis do? 25 in the first half. He finished with 45 and 16. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on this year, on this year, he is averaging 27 and 10 on 56% shooting. Anthony Davis is the real deal. I don't want to hear all of this Greek freak stuff. Okay? Because contrary to what you want to believe, and contrary to what you want to recognize, I got news for y'all. For all of y'all out there that want to just dismiss Anthony Davis and act like he's just another player. Can, you know, he's been in the league forever. Blah, blah, blah. Y y y Nuno, Nuno, Jonathan, Kat, could y'all do me a favor, please? Could y'all go out and get Anthony Davis's double ARP card? Could you grab it, please? Because everybody talks about him like he's been around for ages. No, I want one of these young guys. Ben Simmons is 19 or 20 years old. The Greek freak is 21, 22 years old. Oh, my God, Stephen, what are you talking about? Stop the presses. Stop the presses. Anthony Davis is about to retire. Did y'all hear the news? He's been around forever. He's some senior citizen that's beyond his prime, and his career is over. Did y'all hear the news? Anthony Davis is 24 years old. 24. 24. He turns 25 March 11th. That's Anthony Davis. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. He's in his sixth year. He's a senior citizen. Did you hear the news? I mean, why would we pick Anthony Davis? I mean, my Lord. I mean, oh my goodness. He's running out of time. He's 24. 24. And oh, by the way, since his rookie year, 20.8 points, 24.4, 24.3. Last year, he averaged 28 points, 11.8 rebounds on 50% shooting for the season. And this year, I'm sorry, guys, gals. He's, 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 he didn't you hear the news? He's just, he's slipping. He's only averaging 27.2 a game. By the way, the New Orleans Pelicans are 23 and 20. DeMarcus Cousins is his teammate, so is Drew Holiday. And um, Anthony Davis is a big-time name because I got news for you. There should be two competitors going all out to get him. The Boston Celtics should do everything they can to get him for two reasons. Number one, getting him, even if it's for Al Horford and a Jason Tatum, getting Anthony Davis will make the Boston Celtics the favorites in the Eastern Conference. That's right, I said it. Anthony Davis with Kyrie Irving and Jalen Brown and the rest of the Boston crew, please. Yes, it would. And if not this year, definitely next year once Gordon Hayward came back. And oh, by the way, if you don't get in Boston, but you land in Cleveland, if Anthony Davis somehow, some way were to land in Cleveland, because Kobe Altman, under pressure to get something done, by the way, with the Cavs being old and slow and allergic to playing defense, evidently. Anthony Davis would have landed Cleveland. And I'm not advocating for Kevin Love. I love Kevin Love. I think Kevin Love is a really good player that doesn't deserve it, doesn't get enough credit for what he brings to the table. I really like, I genuinely like Kevin Love. I really do. But if I got a chance to get Anthony Davis for Kevin Love, and another player, you think I'm not doing it? Are you insane? And could you imagine LeBron James with Anthony Davis? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. So much for the Golden State Warriors being the favorites, because I'm here to tell you, LeBron with Anthony Davis is a title. Without a doubt. He's that real. He is that real. And you want me to tell you what possibly could be standing in the way? LeBron James. LeBron James may very well have the keys to Anthony Davis landing in Cleveland. LeBron James may actually be the one preventing it from happening. How do I know this? I'll tell you in a minute. 888 say ESPN is the number to call up this. 888-729-3776. More to Stephen A. Smith show on ESPN Radio in a minute.
minute. 